Welcome back guys. Well, don't let this weather deceive you. That wind there is bringing in some rain. That's going to be a bit later this evening and um, all night and all morning I believe. It should be getting pretty heavy in the early hours. Um, and that's the reason I've got this with me. Uh, it looks a bit weird. Oh, you've probably already seen the thumbnail. It's a cardboard tent. I'll tell you a bit about it later but um, I need to get it set up while I've still got light. I know that I'm supposed to uh, bend these. So I'll do that. Well, with a little bit of a struggle, I've got this side in, and this has got a air vent which I think pulls out like so Okay, well this is one of the rain flaps and the doors. I'm just gonna get the other one of these on a little bit fiddly. It's also my first time out with this new improved one Tigris chair. It's got new mesh pockets because the other ones were so tight they were unusable really. Um, new reinforced frame as well and it felt a bit easier to put together, not quite so tight. So let's see how it goes. But yeah, the tent. The tent is by Car Tent, spelt with a K. Um, I've had it a few months now. <laughs> I ordered it from the Netherlands when I saw it. I thought that's a bit of a novelty. The idea behind them is it comes from seeing festivals after they pack up. Millions of these tents all just dumped and wasted. And they thought, well, what about cardboard tents? Now you'd think they'd just turn to mush straight away, but apparently, I've seen these go through the car washes and stuff, there's uh, videos. They'll last a few days of rain, so they should last our festival. So the idea is to have a load of these set up and, you know, whatnot. But, um, I've just got it out for the night. It's meant to be a very wet night. And I just thought I'd like to try it, really. Well, I've actually got a few fixings I'm supposed to put in. Oh, I'm supposed to get a couple of pegs as well. Um, my box was a bit damaged when it arrived, a bit open up, so I had to reorder these, but I haven't got the pegs. Uh, right. I've just poked through a couple of these little plastic bolts and wing nuts. That should just hold the front on a bit better. Hopefully not leak. A little unsure on what to do with these rain flaps. I mean, I could leave them up until later. Yeah, something like that. But they're, because they're tabs, they're a little loose. And do I peg it down for when, if I get up in the night and it blows away when I'm over to pee? 
Well, I don't know if you can see or not, there's a tiny hole here from shipping. I mean, it was a big flat package all the way from Netherlands, so I've got some of this paper parcel tape. I'm just going to patch that up just in case. Thankfully it is on the bottom. There we go. And what I might do is just, at least for now, pop these rain doors open with a couple of sticks. Gonna use my Firmarest mat, which I think is gonna be sliding all over the place. And I've got my um, Baffin EV 300, I think that's one degree sleeping bag. I'll be using my stuff sack pillow. And I've got my little pump, which is also my light for blowing this up. As you can likely see, there's quite a lot of room in here. Um, this is a big and a wide mat, and I could fit two of them in here quite easily. Um, a little bit of room at the end as well. So, sleeping bag, and my little pillow. I've got my stuff sack pillow as well. Well, I think a bit of a faux pas is that this is supposed to go underneath, so it doesn't kind of wick moisture in from the rain, but I'm not changing it now. Not with uh, too much light left and rain on the way. We'll see if that's a mistake later. Well, I think because these flaps are a bit, I don't know, wobbly, let's say, I'm gonna use that parcel tape, give them a better chance of uh, staying in when I'm getting in and out of the tent, etc. Got some of these little hooks on your wall at home that are adhesive. Uh, I'm not sure how to use them. <laughs> Does that? Let's get this off. Uh, there we go. And the hook sticks on there. And then in theory, Hey! <laughs> I was thinking maybe I should have put some kind of ground sheet under this because obviously the ground is already quite moist. Whoa, it's getting dark and more windy. <laughs> but this is what I'm going to be cooking on. It's just a um, gas stove and I'm going to be doing that by the doorway and both for that reason and for my heating reason later I'm going to have a carbon monoxide alarm which when my pack's in here, I'll put it on top of the pack. Um, yeah, but yeah, I've got quite a novel heater that I've never used before, other than to test at home. So that should be interesting. It's not gonna be on through the night, but it should keep me warm in the evening, except temperature is already dropping. Well, I quite like the setup actually. <laughs> it looks pretty cool, at least for a night. Obviously, some people have to sleep like this permanently, um, but I can tell why. Just being in there, you can tell this insulated and you can tell um, the sound doesn't really penetrate either, you can't hear the wind as much in there. So I think it's going to be quite a peaceful night in there to be honest. Especially with my little heater that I'll show you later. Yeah, very novel. <laughs> well I've got a little wood from the uh, shelter. Just going to have a tiny fire before it starts raining. Just give myself something to do and to chill by. Um, finger is still bandaged from the axe wound, but uh, hopefully we'll be okay.
Okay, it's just fire lighters today, just to get it going. Have a bit of a brace there as well. Whoops. That's better. Nice fire to warm me as it cools down. And the tent awaiting when it gets dark. Shouldn't be too long, knowing that weather is just looming. Could be any second. First time I've had a woolly hat on this year, I think. Oh, can't wait to get in there, to be honest. <laughs> Now, I think I'm going to cook burgers, keep it simple tonight. I'm not saying a little less simple for breakfast actually, I'm quite looking forward to trying on the uh, gas stove. I've got the Omnia oven with me, so that should be quite fun. I'm um, probably going to be kind of shutting the tent in the morning until I pack up. I say pack up, probably fold up a, a pretty soft and mushy tent, <laughs> carry it to the truck. But uh, yeah, hopefully I won't get fat everywhere <laughs> and uh, tread water in and out as I go out for a pee and stuff like that. We'll see, it's all a learning experience. Obviously individuals aren't really supposed to be buying these tents, I mean they can but it's more for like organisers of events and stuff. But um, yeah, something different. As much as I'm looking forward to getting in this tent and trying it out and the rain to come, I know I'm going to be in it a long, long time. The clocks changed the other day, so we've got long, long evenings now, and uh, it's going to be very wet in the morning. So, I'm going to be in there for a god, how long am I going to be in there for? Maybe 12 hours. <laughs> you can really tell that autumn is in full effect now. So many of the leaves have been lost, but a lot more light is getting through than in the summer. That canopy. Well, I'm just going to sit at the doorway for a minute here, watch the fire burn down. And there's already spiders in here. <laughs> Jacket's on because it's cooling down a bit. Not sure where my hat is, I'll have a look in a minute. <laughs> the uh, fire's all burnt down now and, well, I'm in here for... I said the next 12 hours, it's probably going to be like 16 hours or something. Um, I'm not hungry yet, so I'm not going to cook, I'm just going to chill out for a bit, get organised before I get dinner on. Okay, it's time to get this stove open. I'll stick it on the top. No, maybe I won't. <laughs> I appear to have forgot my spatula, not done that in a while. We're certainly warmed up in here with this going. Getting some fat splatter in, but we'll survive. No rain yet, but it's due, well, within the hour, I think. See how accurate they are. Got it a little high up first, 
looks okay now. One. Two. And guess who forgot the ketchup as well? Here we go, two lovely burgers. Well, I hope they're lovely. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Yep, that's gonna do the trick. And I've got some Jaffa cakes with me too. one of these heaters that goes on the gas stove um, like I said I've tried it out at home but uh, never camping before and I thought this was a good opportunity as I was using gas don't need it high and of course I've got the monoxide alarm and the door is cranked also got a Belgian blonde beer, which was given to me as a gift. So I've got a couple. This one's 7.5. This is the one not as strong as the other. <laughs> oh dear me. <laughs> well, I'm wet and it hasn't started raining yet. Look at that, already glowing red. It has warmed up quick in here. Time to get a brew on so I'm taking the heater off, which has been really good actually. I'm just going to put that outside the tent. Oh, and spill more water. It's only been a few kind of spits of rain so far, so hopefully we'll get something soon. pretty windy. The rain hasn't come in yet. <laughs> it's weird, I'm, I'm really hoping for this rain. It says it's going to be heavy. At the very least it's going to be heavy in the early hours of the morning. Hopefully it will come sooner. No saying that, it could be pretty noisy in here with rain hitting cardboard. <laughs> I'm liking this. It's, it's really insulated sound wise and um, heat wise and you can kind of lean on these walls a little bit bump into them without you know any kind of issues could have probably had the cot bed in here as well don't know if I could have sat on it but yeah enjoying a cuppa just had a hot chocolate and I've got the heater back on because it's cooling right down and I can hear spots I think it's here <laughs> can likely hear the rain stopped again didn't go very long <laughs> so I think we're gonna get it early hours but uh, for now I need to get some kip I didn't have to wait long for it to start <laughs> something to sleep to coming down now. Must admit it's a little bit of a drum in here but it is cosy. <clears throat> I 
Well, it's been raining for a good hour or so now, pretty hard. And uh, we're looking pretty good in terms of leaks. Even the vent's fine. My first kind of sign of a leak, I've just pulled this in a bit. I think that's more to do with the way I've set it up. But this was um, a little bit creased. So I've had the door overlap on the outside. See how that goes. The rest's looking fine. morning it's about seven it's just getting got light um, oh, tired actually yeah I've just woken up and um, I saw the light coming through the little hole over there just opened the front doors and I could feel that the um, what did they call them the rain doors on the outside were, uh, well quite mushy <laughs> I mean everything else is feeling pretty good I'll have a look outside unless it starts raining it's, it's not meant to stop so I think we've just got a break it's nice to get some air oh. yeah well uh, give my thoughts It's still pretty dark out here. Let's look at the tent. These are the outer doors. Not too bad. A bit mushier at the bottom. Yeah, soft. But it's okay inside. Being corrugated. I'm glad I put the tape on now. This end is pretty wet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this end's a lot wetter. Right under the tree here, I guess. Look at that. But it's okay inside. I had to jump back in the tent pretty sharpish, as you can hear. <laughs> I am going to use this Omnia oven, if you remember seeing it in other videos to bake breakfast. Might as well get it going straight away as uh, it's going to take I don't know, 15 minutes or so to bake. What I'm going to do is oil these little muffin pans. There's quite a lot of spiders in here. I don't want it to get out the rain. You'll have to forgive me when it comes to fancy angles and stuff in here. I'm just getting my billy can out, the David Fryer's pouch. Okay, so into here goes my mix, which is cheese, tomato, bacon, and some kind of hash brown I'm um, grated at home. I think two eggs. Well, I've got two eggs with me, so I'm putting them both in. Some milk, then a cream, and that is going to get mixed up. Potatoes gone brown a bit. All right, it doesn't take long to get the Omnia warmed up, and I shall try to just pour this. Alright, let's 
go for it. Got like a mediumish heat, and I've got spiders jumping on me. Oh, everywhere these spiders and webs. <laughs> well, it's coming down quite hard now. Um, that's the egg cups or egg muffins, whatever you want to call them, on and baking. I'm quite looking forward to it. Nice bit of baked breakfast for a change. And our uh, temperature's starting to climb. For those of you who haven't seen this on the channel before, it's the Omnia oven. Um, it's got a tray which the donut shaped baking compartment sits on and then you've got a lid so the heat goes up inside, over the top and underneath. Uh, works on the Trangia too, really good. One thing I am noticing with the walls is it's still dry and hard but it's starting to bend and there's a bit of a gap there now and it's bulging in here and out there from it being wet outside. And I've now got a leak coming through from the front here. Now that might be because I've got the doors and the rain door open out there and it's really coming down. But um, yeah, I'm not sure I'd want to do a second night in here with rain this heavy. This is definitely from the doors being open, that's my fault. I don't think this would be happening if I'd put this flat underneath. So I can't fault the tent for that. Uh oh, it appears that my uh, rain doors are starting to sag down and have pulled out of the top. <laughs> it's time to have a look at what we've got here. And I'm just going to give it literally a couple more minutes to make sure, maybe brown them up a little bit. my breakfast of tea and egg cups. Um, you can whisk these better to um, get more of a rise from them, but these should be fine. Let's give one a go. Mm. Not bad. I would probably pre-cook the hash browns myself in the future. I've never done this before, well not with hash browns in. No, I think they're okay actually. Do you know what, it's a no from me on the egg cups. I doubted myself and I looked at a recipe online and it had the hash browns in. They would have been much better without. In fact, I probably should have just cooked some actual muffins. <laughs> Never mind, they're edible. I'm going to have a little tidy up and I can see that the structural integrity of the tent is failing down in that corner as well now. And I want to get packed up before this goes because then it would just collapse. <laughs> I'm starting to doubt it now, but it has put up with um, ooh, eight hours of um, heavy rain and the front door is a bit my fault and the back might be as well because that's not fun to fold it under as well. You 
can see this wall warping and water getting in as well. Now if the bottom was folded under, maybe that wouldn't be happening, I'm not sure. But my vent is leaking from the tab as well. If it's wet weather, I'd say take that tab off because it just wicks down. And uh, cools at the bottom. So you can see what's happened with these. This is completely popped out. Uh, what's going on to be honest? Oh yeah, it folds. Yeah, it's floppy. That bridge is... Get this apart. See this one down here, it's been pulled in. Well, it's just pulling straight out. <laughs> At least there's a dry patch. <laughs> okay, so what I might do as it is pouring is just get out of here and um, when I come down at some point try and bring the truck in a bit closer. Um, can't get much wetter to be honest. Can you see me? <laughs> right, thank you guys. It's been an interesting one. Fun one actually. It was actually... Oh, sod it. It was actually really nice in there. It was a nice space to be in. It warmed up. It was, you just felt insulated from the outside in every way. But um, I'm sure light rain and stuff, it'd probably be okay over a couple of days. But yeah, it wasn't going to last much more of this. Goodbye for now. <laughs>